everybody, welcome back to Wiki Good Sports. This is at the buzzer. We're joined as always by Jack Tiernan. Jack, how you doing? I'm doing good, Brian. Thanks for having me. Of course. And Ryan Flynn. Ryan, how you doing? I'm also doing well, Brian. Thank you. So yeah, uh since the last time we talked, no wins for the Celtics. Um two losses in a row to the Magic. Yeah, it's been, um, been a rough stretch. It's, it's not been great. It's not been no. great. Jack, is it time to panic? Let's no. just put that out there. Okay. Uh, good good start, but no, I'm going with a hard no. I think a couple of things we have to think about here, obviously, right? We haven't really been fully healthy. Uh, Tatum missed one of those Magic games. Granted, it is the Magic. We should be able to beat them. Um, I mean, Rob's just coming back. We're reintegrating him a little bit. And now when we had Rob last year, think about it, we were a defense first team. Now we were an off. We've kind of converted into an offense first team. Total 180. Um, defensive rating, not that great this year, all things considered. There was a hot stretch where we were in the top five for sure. Uh, of defenses and now we've kind of been like what the heck's happening it's like we add rob back into the mix uh and have no clue what we're doing offensively which is weird because he's such a good lob threat and he's such Mm -hmm. a good ryan and i were talking about it before we got recording but he's such a good explosive like disrupting player um so it's unfortunate for us to just kind of be in this like purgatory of like what's going on but at the same time um and we said this at the beginning of the year, right? The shooting numbers that we're putting up right now are not necessarily sustainable. We had three dudes shooting above 40% from three. Um, and by above, I mean like 45, 47, 48%. Like that's bonkers. And obviously not consistent. And I think you can say the same thing about this recent stretch. We got a bunch of dudes shooting below 30%. And I don't think that's consistent either. That's not something that's going to keep happening, right? So I think eventually this will level out everything will be fine we're going to learn how to work with rob again because rob is a piece we need as that like defensive roaming piece who can kind of just sit in the paint and pretty much block you from going for anything under in the paint um so no i think a little adjustment period uh obviously not fun right now but we had a nice enough cushion where we could afford to use that frankly yeah, Ryan, where have the struggles really come from in this uh, rough patch? That's from your uh, opinion. Again, I do think like a lot of it, some of it does have to do with readjusting with the injuries. I think also you look like, um, you know, like Blake likes to shoot the three, Cornette can shoot a three. So we were just playing with all players that basically stretch the floor, right? Rob is really going to change that dynamic. But like Jack said, he's a really good lob threat. But again, that's still, you know, we're going to have to readjust. We also, I don't, I'd have to look at the percentages, but we just haven't been shooting as well as we were. And when you're running the kind of offense we, we've we been running, that's just going to happen. Like if you looked the way when we played against the Pacers, the Pacers were killing us. The reason we were able to come back is because when you play like that, it's just how it goes. You can't make every three point shot, right? Some of it does come down to luck and chance. So there's going to be huge stretches where you're, no matter how good your shooters are, you might just be shoot, all shooting like shit. So I also think if you look at how we played defensively last year, right, what really helped us is when we gave Rob that roaming role and it was, but right, when it's, you're off the ball, you have the freedom to kind of just be this defensive disruptor. But that was dependent on four guys that can pretty much guard almost every position, right? Yeah. And a Horford smart brown and tatum all re, like elite defensive players all i believe got a vote for all defensive all i don't know if Horford has all of them could be on an all defensive team at some point right you have to remember we've added we've now added blake right blake is a good defender he knows what he's doing but good hustle guy this, yeah he's a hustle guy but at this age he's obviously not at quite at their level um but i would say Cornette and hauser especially with that kind of system as they've been major in a rotation they don't really fit in to that style of play. And even if Tice, right, Tice wasn't great, Tice could be a backup bruiser. He was willing to do that. He he will defend, right? He will play in, hard in the paint. Um, yeah, there's no way I feel like Cornette is still adjusting to you. So I, I think all of that is, you know, and a lot of that comes down to coaching too. Because yeah, um, we know that Joe was obviously an assistant last year. But clearly the defensive system wasn't hundred percent wasn't his system because he hasn't been running it, right? Um, so I just think it's gonna be a lot of readjustment. And again, the magic are good, the magic are a pretty good bad team. For a bad team, 
I mean, they've got awesome. It's, they're literally like, it's like, uh, basically like the monsters, you know, like they're just freaky. <laughs> like, you know, like you could, have, you could have had bull bull guys. Mm -hmm. that, that's where we missed out. I, yeah, yeah, I traded him and look at, look at I, him I want now. nothing to do with him in reality. Let's be honest. <laughs> I, I, he's, he's a cool player. I, he is. He, he's turning kind of into something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think uh, Paolo, did you hear Paolo uh, was like, I don't know why everyone's making a big deal about Lembignano and my boy Bull Bull over here is dropping. <laughs> yeah. uh, <laughs> no, no, I mean, that was, it's pretty awesome hype. He's definitely not that, and he's never mm -hmm. going to be yeah. even like a Chet or something. But right? like, He's just not there defensively like those guys are, but um, I do think he's a cool player. For sure. Yeah. I'd rather have him than Mo Bamba, I think. Me too. Mm -hmm. All right, so tonight... We got uh, at the time of recording tonight. We have the Timberwolves. What do you What do you think, Ryan? We're gonna get this win. What's your prediction? So I believe the spread is ten five. Um, Celtics. Yeah, uh, you know, there, I Expected. think the Celtics will win. Um, I actually was gonna probably choose the Pacers to win last game just because of street, but I think they need this, right? And I think it's what it's gonna be the fourth game with Robin. I. If they're all healthy, I think they can readjust. Um, I, I'm i not going to pick them to hit that spread mm -hmm. at this point. They have been struggling. I'm going to say minus 5-5. Five, five. I think it's going to go up and down, and they might get a lead. Yeah, I'll go with that. That is the exact number I was going to say. Really? Yeah, because yeah, I don't think it's going to be close, close. But I do – right, I think they're going to have points where they can dominate. But I do think they're also going to have points because that's just how they've been playing, where they're going to turn the ball over. Mm -hmm. You know, the, yeah. the Timberwolves have not been playing well, but they have, they've got players. They've got right. three They've got three guys that could be all-stars, two of which have already been all-stars. Mm -hmm. You know, Anthony Edwards hasn't been great this year, but, I mean, he can be really – he can be dynamic any given night. He's mm -hmm. averaging career highs this year. Um, he just so. – yeah, the efficiency and the way he's working right. and the way he's playing exactly. with the team. It just it's a really tough adjustment with Rudy. With Rudy, because Rudy you so much spacing without Cat at the five. You and you really need a half court like type offense to like play K Rudy, which uh, you have to because I'm not paying him and all of that. And you know Anthony Edwards really just thrives in like open space, fast break, like you know, and that works perfectly with him and Towns. But Towns also I don't think is really equipped to defend at the four. No. He's not. That's the thing. Is he's a great. He's a shooter. He hasn't. I don't think and he's been shooting that well this year. But yeah, he's. That's it. He's not. Um, he's not an. He's not like an elite. He's not an elite athlete. He's like no. anything like a lumbering big. Yes. Like he's kind of like Al, if I'm being totally honest, with less good defense. Uh, yeah, Al's way more athletic. I would say. Yeah. I. Oh, I completely agree. Yeah. But like yeah. when it comes to like outside presence, I think you give him like the Al Horford treatment, and then I think at this pretty much as soon as he starts driving, you're like, oh, okay, this is fine. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Mm, yeah, um, yeah, that's a. Yeah, I'm not big on. I I no, liked him in college. I was, yeah, same. I'm not I was here, but I don't really like him. I if I were them, I pro. I think they need to trade. Cat is probably the. I, you're not going to trade Gobert at this point. You just no. Right. Put too much into him. Mm -hmm. And Jack, I know, I know you're on a bit of a time crunch here, so we'll get to the Bucks. Um, what do the Celtics have to do to defeat the Bucks on Christmas Day? I think, um, well, we're talking about this too. No Chris Middleton, most likely. Even if he's there, uh, Ryan told me he's playing like crap. I looked up the numbers. He's playing like crap when he is playing. Mm -hmm. um, so, I mean, stop Giannis. I, to be honest, I think tonight is going to be very interesting because of how well we played in that second half of the Pacers game. We really put it mm -hmm. together. Uh, I know it wasn't good the first half by any means, but we made adjustments in the second half, which is really promising for me. Um, cause we have Rob back, right? So mm -hmm. Rob's back. If we can play with Rob in the second half, which we did well, we can play well against the bucks. I mean, we beat him in a best of seven series, right? Yep. Granted different team now, obviously both of us. Right. Um, but I think at the same time, if we can, if we can mitigate Giannis's damage and we can just block out everybody else, we have guys that can defend up and down the position sheet, right? Like it's not that much, not much of an issue in that regard, mm -hmm. but I think it comes down to efficiency when it comes to shooting the ball, honestly. And that's, that's kind of what it's been. If we can, if we can add another level of offense with Rob in there now, I'll feel pretty good about it. Um, but I guess we'll see. I think, I think yeah. Celtics can take that. I do. Um, Bucks are kind of uh, teetering a little bit 
right now. So let's take advantage of that. Yeah. And Ryan, anything you want to add to that? Um, no, I do think that if we win tonight and we have like, it's not just kind of like, we almost like stumble into winning. If we have like a solid win and things look good tonight, I think we have a very good chance of beating the Bucks. We, right. We've, uh, we've kind of proven we could stop Giannis to some degree. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, and I think that we're going to have to see how the defense looks like. We're going to have to, you know, but I think having Rob is going to help. And as much as like our system worked well against him last year, if we can hit our shots and play fast, that also might work against them because they are like a slower paced team. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, and like having Rob, if Rob is back for that game, I, you know, I hope as much as they have two bigs tonight, I hope they kind of realize like, hey, we really need Rob to kind of just like be there to go up against, you know, you know, just come flying out when Giannis is going to the rim. Mm-hmm. Um, I think that, I think that'll be a huge help as well. Mm-hmm. Cool. All right. Well, with that, Ryan, anything you want to plug before we get on out of here? Um, no, not at the time. Uh, I haven't really written any articles in a while. If you want to see my predictions and see how they've uh, panned out, you can check out. I ranked, I did all my NBA predictions on the Everything Sports Blog. Awesome. And Jack, same thing. Anything you want to plug before we get on out of here? Sure. Best place to find me is on Twitter for all my NBA takes, MLB takes, NFL takes. That's at Jack underscore Tiernan. Follow me there. Uh, you can also follow my disc golf Instagram account. I played in the South Florida Championship and came in dead last in my division because I played like complete garbage. Um, well, so that's, yeah, it does. At Jack Disc Golf for Instagram, at Jack Tiernan for Twitter. Follow me there. Follow him, follow him there. And then, uh, you know, all the other. I don't have to do the whole full rigmarole here. Uh, other than that, happy holidays, everybody. Guys, thank you so much for your time. Thanks for having us, Brett. Yeah, thanks for having us, Brett. Appreciate it. And we'll see you all in the next one.